And now 60 Seconds with Steve Carell. Steve, would you rather shave your head for a roll or put on 20 pounds? I'd rather do both, because I, I love to look my worst on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of did that for the last thing I, you I did. did. Yeah, I put on weight and I shaved my head back. I think I tried out for that. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> You'd have been great. I heard someone else got it. I guess I know now. Kind of stupid. Might. Yeah, well. Oh, I just, now it looks like I peed my pants. <laughs> <laughs> he has a drinking problem. What's quoted to you more? I love lamp or that's what she said? Sort of in equal parts. Um, I get I love lamp. I get I ate a big red candle. I get Kelly. <laughs> Kelly Clarkson is also one. Yeah. And I say I, that every time I get waxed now. Do you? Yeah. It's a good way to deal with the pain. I, <laughs> I thought it was. <laughs> Kelly Clarkson! Kelly Clarkson! Rather play the Pope or play the devil? I used to do an impersonation of Pope John Paul II. Would you like to hear my Pope? Yeah. The people of the world should all come together as one. It's like he was he saying it phonetically. Vaguely Didn't. Indian. <laughs> First Indian Pope. This Pope, well, our ex-Pope now, that would be a whole other. That's a TV show coming out, ex-Pope. Ex-Pope. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a good sense of fashion or are you kind of like, where's my stylist? I'm kind of like, where's my stylist? <laughs> That's what I say all the time. <laughs> I, I walk around the house. You have to preface it with, I'm kind of like. <laughs> I'm not totally like, I'm kind of like. I'm kind of like. <laughs> I'm not all in on that. I like to, you know what, I like to look clean. Mm, That's like you really haven't spilled water all over yourself or something. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you just like to keep it clean. Yeah, just keep, keep it, it clean. Keep it sharp. Yeah. And now for the incredible Burt Wonderstone questions. I'm Burt Wonderstone. And I'm Anton Marvelson. But of course you already knew that. Your ticket sales suck. <laughs> what? Steve Gregg's there calling him the future of magic. This guy's a magician, he doesn't even have a costume. You need to do something fresh. What you do is not magic. It's natural for a dying leaf to be frightened by the autumn wind. Your skin makes me cry. Does your wife find the magic hair from the film sexy, or was she glad to see it gone? Most people think that, oh, well, what woman wouldn't like the flowing blonde hair and the tan shaved chest? Yeah. Not my wife. What are you wearing? My magician's costume because I am a magician. Didn't your kids love when you were getting tan? I remember you telling me when you... <laughs> they thought that was hilarious. Because <laughs> I'd walk into the living room in a bikini, like complete, <laughs> like as tan as you could be. And you, they couldn't touch me. Not now, kids. Daddy, sticky. Dada, no, I'm tacky. I'm tacky. It was disgusting. No, she was not into that look at all. You wear that? Yes. It's velvet, Bert. Keep the bedazzled wardrobe, or did you reluctantly give it back after shooting? Well, a lot of it was mine to begin with. They just put on right. more bedazzle. It's funny, because people, the, all the journalists keep asking, like, when I come on stage as your assistant, they're like, it was so unattractive. <laughs> was that a choice? And now I've had to be like, yes. <laughs> when I'm sure we spent, yeah, like, blonde. hours trying you to make it look good. <laughs> and I'm like, Oh, yeah, we worked hard just to make it really unattractive. You know, when it was looking too attractive, I said, no, no. No, no, we want it to look awkward. You make it look worse, please. Right. I just think we need to talk about everything. Because I just... Oh, my God! Bert! Oh. The bubbles seem to have dissipated. This has been 60 Seconds with Steve Carell, only on Cinemax. They videotape you as they're recording. To so get your expressions? Yeah. I wouldn't want to see that because they'd make a little chipmunk with a giant forehead. <laughs> it was kind of a sexy golf game. I was saying things like, ho, ho, look at Trixie. 